there is a famous archaeologist that was doing a study in Mexico. It's a lady. I don't remember her name. It's a lady. Uh, and this lady uh, did some carbon dating on some bones or something that she discovered. And I believe that the date went back 180,000 years or 100,000 years, Whoa. something like something ridiculous like that. And I'm talking about, I believe, 30 years ago. Okay, but here's the point. Um, she dub she double checked all her results, and the results kept coming back thousands and thousands of years before anybody thought that that area would be inhabited by these sort of people. So she said, I'm gonna print it. And a few of her colleagues said, Don't do it. You're going against the grain. If you print this, you are going to regret this. It can potentially be the end of your career. And she says, yeah, but you're telling me to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to print this. Long story short, she printed it, and they destroyed her in the media. They discredited her to the maximum capacity. Hmm. We, I have to find her name so that we can link this so people can We'll put it in the description, check. yeah. Yeah. They destroyed her. This was in Mexico. This was a lady. This was years ago. She lost her funding. Hmm. Okay. So therefore she lost the money lost the money to continue to do her research. Yeah. And they destroyed her reputation. Wow. And they truly, truly messed up her life. And I can cite a couple of people through history that um Yeah. Well they have done it's like, uh, what do they say? That there's a saying about like the hill that you die on or something. You're going to die on that hill. Like if you believe so much in the cause, you're willing to go down. You know, they destroyed her life, man. You know, and they people destroyed like her that, life. some of them you'll ask them and they'll say they would have still done it. You know, one person that comes to mind like that is uh, uh, Bob Lazar. The uh, UFO. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he has stuck to his story apparently for decades. And uh, it, after he came out saying that he had seen certain UFOs and this and that, that working at Area 51 and right. all that, that uh, his life didn't it didn't affect him in a positive way. Oh, no, it was very negative. It was very negative. So He got fired. But he stuck to his story. Right. So you wonder, like, is there some truth behind it? or? Well, it's very interesting. If you hear what he's saying about... Uh, it's extremely interesting. He's talking about a machine that created uh, uh, anti-gravity. Yeah. And if you create anti-gravity, all the rules are different. You can do anything you want. 